I read the rules before I broke them. I broke the chains before they choked me out. Oh. The next 30 days and this blog, we're gonna start every message with grin. G-R-I-N, grin. The G-R is for gratitude. The I-N is for intentionality. So, let's start with our gratitude for the day. I am grateful for Coach Jay Crow, Jamie Crowland in the house. He called it out, he said, hey, let's tighten up these vlogs. Let's make sure that we're intentional about them. Let's keep them to a certain amount of time. Let's do that. And I said, Coach Jay Crow, I love your ideas. Let's make it happen. And it starts right now, right here, with Grin, G-R-I-N. I'm grateful for you, Coach Crow. I love you, you're awesome. Thanks for sticking with it. And all you out there, you want to be better about getting ideal clients, having a better ROI, rainmaking, getting more ideal clients, Coach Jake Crow, he's the man for you. In fact, he says coaching's free, free. It's really true because he's so darn good at helping you create ideal clients over and over again. All right, let's now talk about intention. The intention for today's vlog is ego, ego. As my good friend Walter Bond, great speaker, highly recommend him. He's amazing, NBA, all-star, played for Dallas, incredible guy. And he says, confidence is ego morning, under folks. control. <laughs> Welcome to Bound Pack this is Rich Country Club. I'm your host, Dan Avatar, with special guest, so Coach Rich Campy. Ego. E-G-O. According to Google, it's our self-esteem, our self-importance, our self-worth self-respect, self-image, and self-confidence. We hear quotes such as, the defeat was a bruise to his ego, or her ego becomes more unbearable each day. So let's use this quick example of how this all works. So here we have this iceberg, okay? And you can see here, this is the ego up on top, okay? ego. It's really making the decisions of what's happening in the super ego, which wants to do the right thing. It wants to make the calls. It wants to show up on time. It wants to do the right things, right? The other side, the id, is that part of us that says, oh, it's okay. You don't have to work out. Stay in bed. Don't make the calls. You can skip out early. Go to happy hour. It's all good, right? It's that id part that's there. So, Important to understand that we have this up here that's kind of managing these two parts, the superego and the id all the time. So there's a great story about a young Indian warrior and the great wise Indian chief told the young warrior, he said, you know, all of us have two wolves within us and they're constantly fighting each other, right? All the time fighting, fighting, fighting. And the young warrior said, well, tell me more, tell me more. And he said, well, one of the wolves is a good wolf and the other wolf is a bad wolf and they're constantly at war within us. And the young Indian warrior asks, you know, the wise Indian chief, he says, well, which one wins? And he says, whichever one we feed. So the point is, if we get momentum with one versus the other, we get momentum, it starts moving us forward. But the thing is, most of the time we're at an unconscious incompetence level, we don't even know there's a battle going inside of us. So we can't make those decisions between the id, the bad one, and the superego, the good one. This is Rich Campy saying, check your ego. Who's winning out with you? Donald? I'll see you later. Yo, 
and my ball on number 18 is right here. And I just want to show you what's behind me. Behind me, if you see it right back here, those are the ladies' tees. So I didn't hit past the ladies' tees on 18, so I try to finish strong. And in golf, there's a ruling that you're supposed to drop your drawers if you don't hit back to ladies' tees. Now, that's not gonna happen, but the reality is humbling, man. I mean, golf just so humbling. Um, so didn't get past the ladies' tees. Nothing against the ladies' Not past the ladies' tees, lady and then just beat the me. junk out of ourselves and just beat ourselves up, beat ourselves up, asking terrible questions. Why am I an idiot? Why am I stupid? Saying stupid things to ourselves. Why do I stink? Why am I a jerk? Why am I so bad? Some people throw their clubs and put it into their physiology, and they focus on what's wrong. So how do you reset every single time? That it can do more of the right things, or not beat us up so much, or help to battle with the good wolf and the bad wolf, the id and the superego, right? That are always going on within us. What can we do about it? It's conditioning, just like the muscle, right? We have to take it to a conscious level first that we realize this battle is constantly going on within us. And then what do we do, right? We talked about this before, three things. Focus on what you want. Focus on what you want at a conscious level because if we are not aware of this, it's at an unconscious level and it just runs its cycle. So keep getting good at focusing on what you want, what your results. That's why the mountaintops are so important because it keeps your focus on that space. Second, manage your physiology, manage your breathing, manage the state of mind that you're in consistently, right? Make sure you're managing it. And the third thing is manage our questions. What questions do you ask yourself on a regular basis? Now, most people, believe it or not, beat the heck out of themselves. I've now looked at 10,000 plus mind scans. And if your circles in your mind scan are down here at this level, right? If you're down here, you're really hard on yourself, right? So especially this one here, really tough on yourself. So you really want to pay attention. You want to build up your ego in that case. Like, Say good things to yourself. Listen to positive motivational programs about you, right? Build yourself up. Vice versa, if you're getting too far up here, your circles are larger than what we're seeing on the top, you gotta check your ego at the door a little bit more because then it's all about you and you're not beating yourself. It's like, oh, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, right? So, like that song. So again, be aware of what's happening here and what you can do, again, is focus, Right? What do you focus on consistently? What type of questions you ask yourself and managing your physiology. And here's the last part that's really big. Seek to find out what's important to other people first. Right? See, here's a good challenge for you. See if you can go just one hour, just one hour, that everything for that one hour is about everybody else. Be curious, George. Learn about other people and find out what's important to them. Right? Use the metaphor J. Crow, Coach J. Crow talks about F-O-R-M, form, right? What's going on with their family? What's going on with their occupation? What's going on, you know, from a recreation standpoint? You know, what's going on there? And then what's going on from a money standpoint, which really is about, you know, where are they going to go on vacation? Are they looking for that next home? Where do they like to play golf? So you can kind of tie that all together, especially as advisors. So ask questions, be curious, George. Find out where other people are coming from as opposed to us. See if you can do it. I find for me when I try to do this, it's not long before I'm telling some story or talking about my dog or talking about the kids. It's, it's tough. So see how good you are about making it about other people and then manage your own internal dialogue that the good wolf is winning on a regular basis. All right, Bring it to a conscious level and eventually it gets really good and it happens that fast, almost instantly, once you condition the muscle. Okay. This is Rich Campy saying, I challenge you to just one hour and focus questions and physiology. Pasta. Thank you, baby. Thank you, and we'll catch you next time. How's the mix of sandwiches? Now, that's completely letting go of ego. She's all about everybody else. We appreciate you. Thank you. They're amazing. Check your Love ego. you, baby. Thanks for not skipping. Don't be a pig. <laughs> Check your ego. Check your ego. Check your ego. Check your ego. Don't be a pig. Bye-bye, Mr. Pig. Pet pig.